Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to model this part with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. I will pick Parametric Part Template to create this model. Make sure you are in Part Design Workbench. First, I will create a 2D sketch and then extrude it into a 3D shape. Click on Create Sketch Tool and pick XZ Plane. Let's create the 2D shape with Polyline. Click on Create Polyline Tool and start stretching at the origin. Draw it similar to this shape. Make sure the cursor looks like this and click. This is to make sure the automatic constraints are applied. Right-click to exit. I will apply parallel constraints to these lines. Let's add dimensions to make this sketch fully constrained. Click on this line and make it 20 mil and press enter. Click on this line and make it 40 mil and press enter. Click on this point and make this 35 mil and press enter. Make sure this corner is this side. Click on these two lines and make it 5 mil. Click on this point and this line. Make it 5 mil. The sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Click on Pad Tool. Type 30 for the length and click on Symmetric to Plane option. Click OK. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Tool. Click twice on this to make this view straight. Click on this tool to copy external reference lines from existing solid. Click on these two edges. Click on Create Polyline Tool and draw a shape like this. Make sure the cursor looks like this and click. There are two redundant constraints we have to remove. Right click to exit. Click here and it will highlight the redundant constraints and press delete key on your keyboard. Now there are two degrees of freedom that we have to constrain. Click on dimensions tool and add the following dimensions. Close the window. Click on Pocket Tool, click on this drop-down and change to through all type. Click OK. Click on Fillet Tool and click on these edges. Make this radius 7 mil and press Enter. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Tool. Click twice on this to make this view straight. Click on this tool again to create external reference lines. Pick these two edges. Click on Create Circle Tool 
and draw a circle somewhere here. Type 12 for the diameter. Click on Dimensions tool and add these dimensions. Close the window. Click on this box. Type negative 36 to move the sketch along Z direction, press enter. Click on Pad tool and change this to Up to Face option. And click on this face. Click OK. Click on this face and click on Create Sketch Tool. Copy this external reference edge and draw a circle with 8 mil diameter. Close the window. Click on Pocket Tool. Change this to Through All Type. Click OK. Click on Chamfer Tool and pick this edge. Change this to 0.5. Now I have completed half of the body. I am going to use Mirror Tool to make other side of the body. Click on the body and click Mirrored Tool. Click on this drop down and change to YZ plane. Click OK. Click on this face. Click on Create Sketch Tool. Click on Circle Tool and draw a circle at the center. Let's make it 10 mil. We will add bigger hole with a hole feature. Click on hole tool and change this to isometric regular right profile. Right click to exit. Change the size to M or team. Hole cut type to counter bore. Change these values to 22 and 3. Click OK to close the window. Let's add small radius to these edges. The model is now complete. Please comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to subscribe so you will get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you and see you soon.